In this video, we're going to have a look at how to solve simultaneous equations. And the technique we're going to use is one called elimination. Now, simultaneous just means at the same time. And you all know what it means to solve an equation. You're just looking for uh, a solution that makes the equation work. Well, when you're given simultaneous equations, that's more than one equation, what you have to do is find uh, the numbers that makes the set of equations work. So what you might be faced with is a question which gives you two sets of equations. And what you have to do is find, in this case, the values of A and B that not only makes the first equation work, but also fits the second equation. OK, now you can't solve an equation which has two variables. So in this case, we have equations which have two variables. We have a variable A and a variable B. So what we have to do is we have to eliminate either the A's or the B's <coughs> to give us an equation that we can solve. So let's uh, see what we're going to do. Now, in these examples, I'm just going to focus on a two-step process. The first one we can call MMM, -M -M, and that stands for make the middles match. Okay, so if you see me writing MMM, that may just means make the middles match. Okay, so if you remember MMM, that's the first thing you need to do. The second thing we need to do is to remember SSS. That just stands for same signs subtract. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is set about making the middles match. And the second thing you need to do depends on whether the signs are the same or different. If the signs are the same, then you subtract. And if the signs are different, obviously you're going to do the opposite, you're going to add. Okay, <clears throat> let's have a look at an example. Now, here we have two equations given to us and we're asked to solve them. That just means find a set of values x <coughs> and y which satisfies both equations. Now we'll number each equation, equation 1 and equation 2. Now, these are your middle terms. And what I want you to do is try and make them match. Now, to make these middles match, what we need to do is multiply this equation by 3 and this equation by 2 because 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 2 is 6. So that will give us two new equations, which we'll call 3, equation 3 and equation 4, which we can uh, then maybe work with. Now, <clears throat> so this is, this, is, this, is, this is the step MMM, make the middles match. So multiply everything in the first equation by 3, and we get 15x plus 6y equals 27. Multiplying this equation by 2, we get 4x plus 6y equals 16. Now, we then look at the signs. We've made the middles match. It focuses still on the middles. What are the signs doing? The signs are the same. You have two pluses, so same signs subtract. So what you're going to do is take the one with the larger values away from, uh, take the one with the smaller values away from the larger. So what we're going to do is we're going to do equation 3 minus equation 4. And that then eliminates the y's, because the y's are matching. So, 15x minus 4x, that gives us 11x. 6y minus 6y gives us 0. Then we have our equal sign, 27 minus 16, that gives us 11. And then we end up with x being equal to 1. And once you've worked out x is 1, or whatever x is, you then just use one of the equations you've had previously to work out what y is. So let's take um, equation 1, and let's substitute the fact that x is equal to 1 into equation 1. And that gives us 5 lots of 1 plus 2y equals 9. So that's 5 plus 2y equals 9, so 2y is 4, so y is equal to 2. Okay, and you've got to explicitly state each uh, part of your solution. 
And then if you want to check, you can always put the numbers 1 and 2 into each equation, and you find that it works. 5 plus 4 gives you 9. 2 plus 6 gives you 8. And then that way you know that what you've got is correct. Okay? Let's have a look at another example. Uh, again, name your equation. First one, we call it equation 1. Second one, equation 2. You want to make the middles match. So I'm going to multiply this equation by 5, the coefficient of the q down here. And I'll multiply this equation by 4, because 4 is the, the coefficient of q up there. That will give me 20q there and 20q here. Okay, so that gives me 15p, if I multiply everything by 5, minus 20q, and that's equal to negative 50. And multiplying by 4, I get 16p minus 20q is equal to negative 52. Okay, now, what are the signs doing? The signs are the same. So same signs, subtract. We will do uh, the start off with a larger equation. So we call this equation 3 and this equation 4. If we do equation 4 minus equation 3, what do we end up with? 16p minus 15p is 1p. Negative 20q minus negative 20q. That cancels out because the two negatives side by side make a positive. And then negative 52 minus negative 50. What does that give us? Negative 52 minus negative 50. Well, the two negatives side by side make a positive. So that gives us that p is equal to negative 2. Now, if p is negative 2, then what we need to do is find q. So what we'll do is we'll just substitute the fact that p is negative 2 into equation... No, it doesn't really matter which one you take. Let's just do equation 1. That gives me 3p, so 3 lots of negative 2, minus 4q equals negative 10. So that's negative 6 minus 4q equals negative 10. If I add 6 to both sides, I get negative 4q is equal to negative 4. That just means 4q is equal to positive 4 if I multiply both sides by negative 1. And that means that q is equal to 1. Okay? And if you check that out, plug the solutions into your two equations, and you should find that they satisfy both of them. Okay. Let's look at another example. Uh, so, again, let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2. Let's make the middles match. Now, if we make the middles match, or to make the middles match, we'll multiply this first one by 4 and this second one by 3, because you see that the coefficient here is 3 and the coefficient here is 4. So we'll just multiply by the uh, the coefficient in the, the other equation. Okay, so that gives us two new equations. We get 28s minus 12t equals negative 20. We'll call that equation 3. And for this one, we get 15s uh, plus 12t equals uh, 3 times negative 22, so negative 66. Now, we'll call that equation 4. Uh, remember before we said that our second step was same signs subtract. Now in this case we don't have the same signs, so we have different signs. So we don't subtract, we add. Okay, so DSA is just the opposite of SSS. Now if we're going to add, let's add then. So that gives us uh, 43S. They cancel out and we end up with 0. And that's then going to be equal to negative uh, 86. Okay. Divide both sides by 43. We get that S is negative 2. Okay. And then all we need to do is substitute the fact that S is negative 2 into one of our equations. We'll just go with the first one, equation 1. That's going to be 7S, so 7 lots of negative 2, minus 3T, equals negative 5, so negative 14 
minus 3t equals negative 5. Add 14 to both sides, we get that negative 3t equals 9. That means that 3t is negative 9. We multiply both sides by negative 1. And we then divide by 3, and we get that t is equal to negative 3. Okay? And that's how you solve simultaneous equations. Now, here are a couple of questions for you to try out yourselves. Okay? So, name each equation. So you can call each equation, equation 1 and equation 2. Make the middles match. And then if you end up with the same signs, subtract. If you end up with different signs, then you can add. So try these yourselves and check back and see how you got on. So for this one, I'm going to multiply this equation by 2 and this one by 7. That will give me two new equations. So I end up with 8i plus 14j equals negative 4. And we'll call that equation 3. And then we'll multiply them by 7. So we get 35i from the second equation plus 14j equals 77. We'll call that equation 4. Now, that was us making the middles match. Now, same signs, subtract. We do have the same signs, so we're going to subtract. And we'll do the large equation minus the small equation. So that's equation 4 minus equation 3. Always explain what you're doing. Tell, you, tell whoever's looking at your work what you're doing and why you're doing it. 35i minus uh, 8i. That will give us uh, 27i. These cancel out because 14j minus 14j is 0. And we then have 77 minus negative 4. Now 77, take away negative 4, is the same as 77 plus 4, which is 81. So divide everything by 27, you get that i is 3. And once you've worked out what i is, you can then substitute in uh, 3 for i. So we'll put it into the first one. So 4i it becomes 4 times 3. And you add 7j equals negative 2. That means 12 plus 7i or 7j it is, is equal to negative 2. And then you can uh, take away 12 from both sides. So 7j is negative 14. j is negative 2. Okay? So these are your two solutions. And for this one, <coughs> what we'll do is we'll multiply this one by the 5. We'll multiply this one by the 2. The 5 coming from there, the 2 coming from there. That gives us two new equations, so we end up with 15g minus 10h, and that's equal to 60. Call that equation 3, and for this one, we get 14g minus 10h, and that's going to be equal to 58. We we'll call that equation 4. Now, do that was us making the middles match. Do we have the same signs? Yes, we do. So same signs, subtract. This time we'll do uh, equation 3 minus equation 4. That will give us 15g minus 14g, which is 1g. They cancel out, and that's equal to 60 minus 58, which is 2. And to work out h, you can say that uh, we'll just sub the fact that g is 2 into equation 1. So that becomes 3g, so 3 times 2, minus 2h, equals 12, which is 6, minus 2h, equals 12. Take away 6 from both sides, negative 2h is 6, that means 2h is negative 6, which in turn means that h is equal to negative 3. Okay, so I hope you get on well with these questions. One thing you need to watch out for is when you are given two equations which are not maybe presented in the same way. Now, here we have two equations, and you'll see this equation, you've got u and v, the u and v term on the left-hand side, whereas on 
in this equation, u and v are on opposite sides of the equal sign. So before you can do anything else, what you need to do is get them looking the same. Okay, so what we'll maybe do is we will uh, rewrite this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to take 2v away from both sides, and that leaves us with 7u minus 2v equals 19. Okay, so this then is u to equation 1, this is u to equation 2, and from here on it's just business as usual. So make the middles match. So let's multiply this one by 2 and multiply this one by 3. That gives us two new equations, and that will give us 10u uh, minus 6v equals 24 by multiplying this one all by 2. We'll call that equation 3. And this one, if we multiply by 3, we get 21u minus 6v uh, equals 57. We'll call that equation 4. Now, we've made the middles match. Now, the signs are the same, so we'll subtract. Okay. Now, we'll do the large one, take away the small one. So that's going to be equation 4 minus equation 3. And that will leave us with 11u. 6v, or negative 6v minus negative 6v. That's going to cancel out. And we'll end up with 33 on the right-hand side. Divide everything by 11, and that will leave us with u equal to 3. Okay? And once we know that u is 3, we can then sub that in to uh, any one of the equations. Now, I'll just go with the equation maybe as it was originally, because um, I've got no negatives there. So what I'll do is I'll just sub the fact that u is equal to 3. Now, you could sub it into anything. I'm just taking this one just for the sake of argument. So we'll sub it into this equation. 7u is equal to 2v plus 19. Now, 7u, 7 threes are 21. So 21 is equal to 2v plus 19. Take 19 away from both sides. They cancel out. We end up with 2 on this side, 2v on this side. So 2v is equal to 2 and v is equal to 1. So these are your solutions for uh, this pair of simultaneous equations. So that's how you solve by elimination. Two steps, make the middles match, and secondly, same signs, subtract. Okay, so I hope that was helpful.